Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Integrator, and this is part two of BT's QE106. So here is his Juno 106, completely untouched at this point. Um, and uh, let's have a look inside and see what's going on. Remove some of these goodies off to the back, and then open it. I've already removed the bolts. And what I see here is a, um, a voice board that's actually in really good shape. Uh, as you can see, the voice board is in fact already been serviced. Uh, I asked BT about this. He said he'd actually had it done. So uh, here we go. This has been serviced and of course this is the original voice assigner chip that's got to come out in order for the upgrade to go in. And this is the original CPU board and it's had a battery update and someone's put a piece of electrical tape over the top of it to stop it from shorting out or popping out the battery I guess. And then of course over here is the power supply and the power supply is uh, one of the multi-tap versions for North America and can also do 220 and 240. So this is a very nice power supply. Uh, the ones that go in the Japanese release ones only do 100 um, hertz, whereas these guys can do 120, 220, and 240. So um, that's cool. All right, so let's, uh, I'm sorry, did I say hertz? I meant volts, silly me. All right, um, okay, uh, and I'm noticing there's a little bit of black crud powder here and what that's from actually is from oh, I'm sorry let's go over here uh, there's a bit of black crud powder over here and what that is is the original foam that goes underneath and acts as a dust cover ends up actually atrophying into kind of like a calcified black crumbly material and then it starts to crumble into the sliders which is no good we don't like that okay so uh, a couple of points here besides that uh, the bottom of this Juno 106 has got to be the nicest bottom I have ever seen and I, you know I don't normally go staring at the bottoms of Juno 106's but look at that it's completely unmarred now I mean um, typically I'd be replacing a bottom plate that was all chewed up but this is in perfect shape so you know uh, one that was slightly chewed up I'll touch up with some paint to make it look new-ish but in this situation that's perfect so that doesn't need to be dealt with um, okay, so what are we going to do with it? Well, obviously, for starters, once we get inside, we're going to be applying the Kiwi 106 upgrade. And inside the upgrade kit is two things. These beautiful metal Kiwi 106 nameplates and the new CPU board wrapped in foam so it doesn't get damaged. And this is the interface adapter, which goes down inside into the voice board right where that assigner chip was and I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit so we're going to be doing that now of course the Kiwi 106 uh, specs are too many to detail if you really want to know what they are go to kiwitechnics.com or you can also go to kiwi-106.com uh, and have a look there so those are the two places where you can go, but qbtechnics.com has sort of the overview and the store where you can order one. And that's going in, obviously. Uh, these sliders are going to come out, and I am going to be replacing them at, Kiwi's, at <laughs> BT's command. There we are. Look at that. These are the new old stock sliders, and uh, those will be going in brand new. Well, 30 years old, but in brand new condition, never been installed. Absolutely glidey, perfect. And they will be replacing all of the sliders here. But of course, the high pass filter switch is unobtainium, impossible to replace. So <clears throat> we're just going to give that <clears throat> a little bit of detailing. Once these sliders have been replaced, and I'm going to replace the sliders in the bender block as well. I've got some new ones that can be put in here. Uh, I'm going to be installing uh, one of my synth skin. Uh, dust cover kits. Uh, I'm now getting them computer cut, so that means it's a <clears throat> the perfect thing every time, and uh, it's a nice flocking material that basically goes over and protects and will last a good long while. The actual voice board itself is going to be receiving these amazing replacements. Um, here they are, fresh from Europe, uh, still in their foil, and in fact, they're all still attached. Um, this is part of a breakaway design that you do in order to get them loose, but if you don't know what this is, these are six 
filter chips by Analog Renaissance, and this are these are three three wave chips by Analog Renaissance, and we'll be installing those. And those are Curtis. These are really really cool, really cool. Sound great. Um, next up, the chassis. All right, the end plates, the original plastic end plates, are going to be replaced with these Synthskin's African Sapili end plates, and as you can see, they're finished. This is basically a uh, African mahogany, is another word for another breed of hardwood, very very close to Sapili. I love Sapili. I think it's gorgeous. It's got a wonderful like banding on it, and uh, anyway, that's the end pieces that are going on. And there's basically a bent metal rail on the front end of the Juno 106. And this bent metal rail, uh, I think, looks a lot nicer if you replace it with a Sapili rail. This one's not finished yet. Uh, it's actually still being fabricated, as you can see. But this actually is going to go in and, well, you'll see just how sexy that is once that's in place. Because it uh, combines up with... show you the, the detail here. It basically lines up like that in the front and gives you a really nice looking wooden chassis. So that is also going in. <sighs> Am I done yet? I think I'm not actually because the front panel is going to be replaced. Now this is a very nice front panel so you know obviously it's not going to get junked or anything like that, but look at the front panel that is going in. Uh, this is a powder coated reworked piece, so this front panel has been completely sanded down to the, the base metal and powder coated, and uh, also has the incredible Synth Graphics Jupiter style QE106 overlay in place, and uh, again you can get the overlay at synthgraphics.com. So, uh, <laughs> got my hands full as you can see lots of work to do but I'm looking forward to doing it and boy is this going to be a cool synth when we're done